Hey, what's going on guys? Squid here. Hopefully you guys had a good Halloween. Yeah, I got a bunch of candy actually. I did not go um, trick-or-treating very much, so I might give, gave it a shot. I know I'm a bit too old at this point, but um, at least I went to the store and got lots of candy, so that's the good news bomb. Anyway, so, um, so we got a lot to talk about that I missed since I haven't done a video for a few days, um, partially because of Halloween too, but um, Anyways, it looks like next update, like next weekend or whenever we're getting the November update, we honestly should have got the November update like today actually, because today is the 1st of November, but well, whatever, we're getting it next weekend, but I'm not too far away, but I'm... Anyways, Asimo posted this last night, the Porsche is going to be retired next update, but it doesn't mean that this is going to be retired and we're not going to get another Porsche, because we are, we are going to get another Porsche, it turns out, so... <laughs> Um, this is what the Porsche is gonna look like if it were to come to the game, but, um, like, in Asimo's tweet, he didn't say anything about a new Porsche coming, but I think we're getting a new Porsche, because if you look in Asimo's, uh, inventory, like, someone popped it up or whatever, his meshes or whatever, and if you watch the username's video, um, you'll see what I mean, but <laughs> someone was able to get Asimo's, like, meshes, um, up on screen, so... It looks like we got a lot of pictures of the of what looks like an updated Porsche. So I think we're getting another one of those like updates like we did in July with. <laughs> uh, we're getting a lot of vehicle updates. Obviously, we're gonna get the new million dollar vehicle this coming update and replacement of the blade. And I'll do a separate video of that probably tomorrow or something. But um, uh, the main course I'm talking about is the new Porsche today since we just heard about it last night. I'm not even. <laughs> but. Anyways, so, this is what the new Porsche is going to look like again. I know the picture isn't that good of quality, but I think it's going to look a lot better. I think it's based on the same model, like the 911 um, turbo convertible or something like that, but it's going to be like, like the new 2020 or 2021 model. This is the back of it. I like the back of it um, better than the front, honestly, but yeah, I think it's going to look so much better. It's definitely going to have an interior, probably fit two people, probably going to cost the same 70 grand. I'm just going to look a little bit different. Um, I gotta say though, c compared to the real life basis, the grill on the new one doesn't really look that right, but <laughs> whatever. Um, but anyways, the one thing I want to see on this new Porsche is a working convertible top, because obviously on this Porsche right here, it does not have any working convertible top. <laughs> and by the way, I want to talk about this. Let me actually go up to the museum just so we can get a, a glance of where it spawns real quick, just so we can talk about this old Porsche. So here's where the ugly car spawns, right here. So. <laughs> Um, now I'm going to talk about my thoughts on um, on this Porsche getting updated. So, honestly, how it looks right now, this is terrible. This is probably one of the most terrible uh, car render renders in the game, honestly, because this Porsche looks completely wrong. I mean, I, I understand this is like one of the first cars added to Jailbreak. Like, like this was added over three years ago. Um, I remember it was, it was one of the first updates. But, um, anyways, I understand about that, but... This is the weird thing about this. Your head sticks out of the car like it's a freaking power ride on toy or something that your character is riding on. And it's extremely underscale compared to your character, I think. Like, the spoiler cl clips into the back window. I mean, the... <laughs> yeah, it's, the car just looks wrong, um, and the grill doesn't really fit it whatsoever, so... And another reason why I'm glad this is getting updated is it costs, um, like, not, not much less than the Lambo, and it's way slower than it. Um, <laughs> It even it's probably about the same speed as the sixty thousand dollar Dodge Challenger that's currently in the game. So, yeah, I'm glad this is getting an update. So, what I'm expecting from this new one that we're getting that, this coming update is I want it to have a working convertible top. Um, I mean, I guess it's not a big deal if it doesn't, but it, it would be nice to have, kind of like the Jeep, like just one click of the button and then you could full the convertible top up or down or whatever. Um, and I want it to be, like, it could be a little bit slower than the Lambo. I want it to be a little bit faster than it is now. Right now it's slow AF. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it's obviously going to look better, and you'll be able to probably switch into interior. Hopefully um, hopefully the C, C key will work for you to switch into interior, because <laughs> all you can do now with most of the cars, especially the... Um, uh, little bird is just you could zoom in all, all you could do is just zoom in to switch to interior so um, I want you to be able to click C to switch to interior when we get this new Porsche so anyways guys um, I think I'm gonna end the video now um, Greenville actually had an update so I think I'll do a video of that some at some point tomorrow and then I'll, I'll maybe do a separate video of jailbreak where um, where I talk about the new million dollar vehicle which coming um, which is coming which the SEMA posted a picture the other day um, 
of the side of it and it looks pretty sick um anyways guys stay tuned and i'll see you guys later